alimaliza alafu kuna mkora huko kwa kijiji anakuja anakwambia hii kitu ni mbaya alafu mnasema semeni mbaya that not how policy conversations are supposed to be had comrades power najua energy imerudi chini kidogo so nitasema comrades transact hatuko mbali sana so as in tukua na matumaini hello hello tuko sawa so ningependa tuulize maswali lakini kwa sababu wa muda kwa sababu ya muda Uh, ningependa huku nipate maswali matatu meanwhile you get the mic kutoka hapo pingine microphone kidogo tuko na challenge hapa tutapata maswali matatu for a start hapa matatu na pale matatu si ndio and then nitakuja nichukue mengine this is the rule nataka tusikize give me your silence nataka tusikize make one question alone usiulize maswali mawili tafadhali because kuna watu wengine si ndio i said even if you paid fees and you don't pay attention you don't pass your exams so please pay attention so that then i don't cut you off air sawa sawa ask one question make it brief if you are making a comment make it in two minutes maximum make it brief and sweet sawa sawa let it be in line with what we are discussing I need to repeat let it be in line with what we are discussing on issues that pertain comrade so i'm saying that as i wait for microphones to go around ashas uh where do i begin uh, and as we do that i just need to make very brief introductions not just uh, kujua tu kuwa kuna Niliona chairman wa Kisumu hapa the venerable Mr. Patrick Bo Buta ama alienda Ah nimeona hapa coordinator wa South Kiyanga Mr. Yogeth Mheshimiwa Alafu iko watu wa Nyamira na Kisi hapa unajua kwa ni lazima nikuwe fair kwa, kwa sababu treasurer anatoka otherwise tunaweza kosa kwenda home <laughs> So eh, treasurer Mheshimiwa Nyakundi just say hi tuko na yeye hapa Uh, they will actually have a time to actually speak to us so let's go uh, thank you for that opportunity your name the institution and your question okay my name is Dan Siwa from Maseno University uh, from Chia County so uh, we are here discussing about issues that affects comrades and we have one thing that affects comrades and it's, it's a thorn in the flesh and uh, it's about comrades power and comrades leadership in our various institutions so for a very long time uh, uh, in the recent past comrades power is diminishing the reason being is because the election process or the election system has been changed from a universal suffrage system to delegate system and this one has cost us because uh, it leads to election of soy boys and mamas boys that can't represent comrades affairs with a uh, vigor and the courage that it takes so uh being that we are the ruling party UDA is the ruling party and we are part of that party uh our humble request is to uh <coughs> our MPs that the election system in our various uh, institutions should be reviewed so that comrades will have leaders that will be able to uh, represent them in uh, various forums for instance in our previous uh, engagement with uh, uh, his excellency mr president during the nfm we had various leaders representing us uh, there uh, at, at the state house so we have some our leaders who could not could not even uh, address the issues pertaining to the nfm so we'd like that uh, the election system should be reviewed and uh, be restored back to the universal suffrage so that we have uh, strong leaders thank you fair enough fair enough I think that uh, SG and the Honorable Nyakundi will take that particular question because it's about uh, legislation and a little bit of politics. Here. Comrade Pao. So my name is Tolo Jeff. I am a fourth year student uh, studying. Yes, just before you proceed. Unajua umesema Comrade Pao iko chini sana. Power. 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 Okay, so my name is Tolo Jeff. I am a fourth year student pursuing political science at Maseno University. And uh, 
just want to direct my question directly to uh, the issue about the new funding model. I think, in my own understanding, there have been a lot of controversies and a lot of discussions going around uh, the whole thing. And I'd really like to thank the ministry for uh, you know, constituting the work stream uh, that also includes students to you know, uh, make recommendations and revisions concerning the same. But now the biggest problem that we are having there is that I think the assumption that the government uses here, uh, be even before I come to that, we are in a capitalist society as one of the moderators has just uh, said, and given that we are in a capitalist society, we know very well that in a capitalist society, we have also appreciated our place as a developing country. So, and I think the assumption that is uh, being brought by the government is that everyone is rich until proven poor. But yet the reality is that everyone is poor until proven rich. Who is power? <laughs> now, my point is this, concerning the new funding model, we're talking about the bottom-up economic transformation agenda in an era where public participation is very important. And to that extent, the problem that I think uh, this, I, I can, can I say this uh, current regime, is that you develop ideas first and then struggle to explain it to Kenyans later. I think it should be that ideas should be uh, originally, or be, should they should be originating from Kenyans before now it goes to the government. And that is the reason as to why most of us are not even understanding the Adani, uh, Adani takeoff of the JKA terminals. Most of us are not understanding how the ship is operating. Most of us are not understanding <laughs> Of us, most of us are not understanding the housing policy, and it all begins with policy formulation. I'm a policy analyst, and that's why I'm speaking from a point of knowledge. Because uh, you look at the housing policy, for example, what you have given us here is the process of how the good, how, how good it is, uh, pay the 1.5 percent. Oh, oh, si doing any story, mingi mingi. But again, remember, we are talking to comrades, people who are living in hostels here. Some of them are suffering, they cannot even pay the rents because help, I just reflect to a portal. So I think the question should be and the conversation should be, <laughs> let us talk, let us talk and let us reflect to things that really touch on the people that we are having here. Let us have live audiences and let us have live interactions. People power, people power. Comrades Viva. Viva. Thank you very much. Clap for Jeff. Uh, I'd love to go back to the other end, kindly. Extreme on the other side. We only have got one mic. We will do that, don't worry, we will talk. The one thing we are not afraid of is actually to have this conversation. We know that UDA, for example, even as the mic moved, had 47 county fora to come up with a bottom-up economic Good plan. Comrade Power! We are, we are hearing. Oh, you are hearing? Yes. Yes, Comrade Power! Yeah. Comrade Power! Yeah. Madam Ria! Yeah. Yes, my name is Riga Nojuan. Oh, you only done some boy. I have a question. Uh, I'm, the pers I'm from uh, Masin University of Matadia, pursuing special needs, and uh, I'm the one in charge of uh, persons with disability in Masin University. And uh, when I'm here, I want to represent my people, and I have a question concerning the PWDs. Uh, first of all, I uh, just want to ask, um, how, how is the government ensuring that uh, the PWDs uh, doesn't differ the way I've seen some of them differing. Uh, what are some of the things that you put uh, in place to ensure that uh, they learn smoothly? Uh, another another concern, uh, why is it that uh, I want to know, uh, because in the national government, uh, the persons representing the persons with disability, uh, you find that sometimes they are not disabled. So. Um, I wish that uh, the persons representing these people, they should be also able differently. And another one, the, I wish that we could have a sign language interpreter to, to interpret, because maybe you, you never know someone is having a, a hearing impairment. Otherwise, thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> very valid concerns. Uh, the other guy there at the extreme, here. <laughs> we, we are Menua, that guy there, okay. Please stand up quickly. Complex power. Hello, everyone. My name is Brian Haimba. I have a question for the panelists and our guest, Karibu Nisana. Uh, welcome to Kisumu. Uh, this is the home of uh, champ. We like championing reforms. And uh, we. 
my question is this. Uh, first, before I submit my question, I have uh, three submissions. First is a uh, acknowledgement, and then a question, and then a uh, recommendation. Uh, first, uh, I would like to acknowledge uh, His Excellency President Ruto on his achievement on the 2024 presidential uh, green industrialization uh, investment statement of the year. Uh, and that gives me a question. The president is pushing something wonderful, yeah? Out there in the world. But uh, we are here today and we've not heard about uh, carbon credits. We've not heard on the, the new uh, the climate financing model he's proposing, we are not aware about it. We, we would like to get more clarity on that, on that as well, at, le at least. And then uh, the kudos for you guys. Uh, these, uh, the, the, this public participation is a, is a good thing. We, this is something that all Kenyans love. The, partic the participation, participa uh, participatory democracy. This is what we want in, in, in matters of pushing our um, uh, policy. So my, my, my proposal is this, yeah? Uh, we have higher learning institutions represented here. And there are issues that those doesn't need investment from pr private investors or just ordinary citizens. It needs a direction from the government. Like uh, things like funding on research and development, things, uh, how, how can we facilitate higher learning institutions to boost that? And then on the startup ecosystem as well, we, we have a cap on the amount of money we can receive from uh, foreign investors. It's, uh, I think, a million dollars if you guys can verify. But does it that limit, does that limit the in, in terms of innovation, what we can attract in terms of innovation? Like when you see other universities like MIT, they do a lot of funding on their research, they do a lot of exchange programs. How can you also push on this thing? Thank and you. And then lastly, on the recommendation, we have the African Free Continental Trade Agreement. And uh, how do we also, when, when you're talking about like accessing other foreign markets, these other free areas for trading and all that, we have a backlog also on the, tax, on the importation and uh, uh, policies and insurance. How do you make that so that we remove barriers for trade and all that, so that you can empower young people in terms of jobs and also skill development? Thank you. Thank you very much. A comrade shall be fair so that we allow others to also talk. Sawa, sawa. Comrade Power. Aye, yeah. nataka ukunyuma. Kindly. Uh, can I get that guy talking? Please stand up. Uh, get him a mic, please. This guy here. Okay, here, here. For ushers, please look at me when I'm giving direction so that it's much easier. Kindly. Uh, we can't hear you. Yeah, it's been so much of men. I need ladies. God bless you. Uh, meanwhile, as they fix that, just wait, I'll be back to you. As they fix that, let me get a lady here. Gen Z ladies, oh, okay. Gen Z ladies and comrades in general. Uh, I had my senior there talking about how she relays it. I had a question about it. Uh, you said that this thing will bring permanent jobs. And so I have a question. Uh, how is it bringing a permanent job and this is just building a, a what? A structure, how, a house. And again, you said that, uh, let's say, for example, in Kisumu, we will be having 6,000 houses. How many Genzis are here? Now, how are you quarter? How will this 6,000 housing help the millions of Genzis, let's say, in Kisumu? And this permanent job, let's say someone is doing uh, social work. How will this affect the social worker 
positively in permanent. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm looking for another lady. Another lady. A lady. You are not. <laughs> Omera Bwana, you're not a lady. <laughs> Comrades power. Comrades power. Okay, today's moderators, the comment I want to make about here is, you people are talking about the project. You people, uh, the fish, I don't know if it was about the fish watch. You are trying to tell us how it works. You are not telling us how we should vendor onto it. On the housing levy. You are saying that it will help our comrade. How? We are living in hostels, others are renting outside. How will you help us get into the housing levy and how will you identify we are comrades? Okay, secondly, on the housing levy still, the project in the government is different to the project on the ground. The project in the government, you are saying you are in, you are building houses to help people. But when you come outside, you find that the project is initiated and it's also being paid for. Why? Okay, thank you. Any other lady so that we balance out? Okay, I've seen one. Ah. Tutafuja. Comrade Power. Tumpatia space tafadali aonge. Thank you very much. Uh, kindly get me that microphone. I I'd love those questions to be responded to and then run one more round. 